So we have been following the number of vaping related illnesses and just in the last week, hundreds of new cases were reported across the country. And new this morning, Channel 11's Joe Arena talked to a local vape shop owner. He said the illnesses are not stopping people from buying his products. Every day, a new headline, young people dying or in the hospital from illness relating to vaping. States are issuing outright bans on jewels. Even in Pennsylvania, there are calls to increase the age limit for who can purchase these products. But that's not stopping people in our area from buying them. You know, we're here to help people get off cigarettes, not kill people. Jimmy Anker owns Wicked Vapor in Verona. He says most of his customers are 30 and over. In his opinion, the younger crowd, the users getting sick, aren't buying vape products in stores. Black market products. But it's not the actual act of vaping that's causing kids to get sick, Jimmy says. It's where kids are getting these devices and what's in them. That's the problem. It's stuff that people are making in their homes, people are making in non-clean labs, um, just anything illegal. The CDC put out a warning this month urging vapors to stop using vaporizers, cartridges, and liquids sold on the street. Doctors at Children's Hospital say black market or store bought, young people just need to stay away. We don't know the long term effects of vaping, of any vaping product. We don't know what this is going to do. Dr. Rosser blames mass advertising and flavored liquids for making these products so attractive to high schoolers and middle schoolers. All of the e cigarettes, they should have their flavors banned. I mean, at a minimum, these should be regulated the same way that we regulate other tobacco products. Some states have done just that. New York and Michigan have taken steps to ban flavored e-liquids, but Anchor doesn't think that'll help. In fact, he thinks it'll make the problem even worse. So what that flavor ban is going to create is a bigger black market for those black market products to come in right. and cause more deaths. Joe Arena, Channel 11 News. E-cigarette manufacturer Juul suspended all print, digital, and media advertising earlier this week, and its CEO stepped down. My